using artificial neural networks for forecasting of municipal solid waste per capita. Hi, uh, I am Chad Taibal and my mentor name is uh, Serdar Demir. We are both from uh, University of Mula Sıtkoşman, Institute of Mula, Turkey. Welcome everyone who is going to listen to uh, my presentation. Contents. Uh, we will start uh, with introduction and then municipal solid waste and talk uh, about uh, artificial neural networks and performance measures and data uh, implementation and uh, results. Introduction. Uh, artificial neural networks are uh, non-parametric soft computing uh, approaches uh, which has been widely accepted by many researchers in various uh, research fields. The common problem related to non-parametric approaches is to determine a proper model. Uh, similar to other uh, methods uh, exist in the literature, uh, artificial neural networks are also have the similar problem due to uh, having random weight uh, before learning process for each time the algorithm initializes. Therefore, uh, ANNs uh, can result uh, different models for the same data and get inconsistent uh, results. To overcome this weakness, uh, many researchers develop different criteria for model selection in artificial neural networks, such as weighted information criteria, uh, which includes archaic and Schwarz information criteria, root mean square error, mean absolute percentage error, uh, direction accuracy, and modified direction accuracy with fixed coefficients, and adapted with information criterion uh, with varying uh, coefficients uh, by Ariel et al. in uh, 2008. And you can see the formula of uh, weighted information criteria about and uh, the the. Uh, adaptive weighted information criteria calculate the coefficients by using an optimization algorithm that uh, maximizes correlation between test sets partitions by Alada et al. in 2010. As an error criterion type, uh, extended weighted information criterion, which is motivated uh, from weighted information criterion, uh, has been introduced in 2017 by Ball and Demir. And the formula uh, can be seen uh, below. And the uh, extended weighted performance criteria has 19 different uh, performance measures uh, from literature. Forecasting of uh, municipal solid waste uh, is a difficult task due to many uncertainties affecting parameters and high volatility of the data. Therefore, uh, it makes the process even more complex to achieve successful models. With the help of these intelligent models, uh, Municipal solid waste planning can be made accurately to overcome pollution in a better env environment around the globe. Artificial neural networks. Uh, the fundamental elements of artificial neural networks are uh, given below as an uh, architecture, uh, learning algorithm, and activation function. Selecting the proper combination of the parameters of the artificial neural networks is a crucial step due to uh, that uh, having a direct effect uh, the modeling performance of artificial neural networks. And you can see the feed-forward neural networks architecture here uh, with uh, input hidden and output layer with the signal flow on the, on, the, uh, on one direction uh, and all the neurons are interconnected between uh, each other. Learning ability from a source of knowledge is one of the most important characteristics of uh, artificial neural networks. A uh, learning process can be described as uh, finding the best fit between the neurons in layers. Recent studies about uh, artificial neural networks have shown that one of the most common and fast learning algorithms is uh, Leeuwenbrock markup backpropagation. Therefore, uh, this method was utilized to, as a learning algorithm in our study. Activation functions provide the nonlinear mapping between input and output. Uh, the performance of networks depends on the proper choice of activation function. Activation function can be chosen as the either linear or nonlinear or double polarized or one polarized. In general, the, the activation function uh, introduces a degree of nonlinearity that is valuable in most of cases uh, of the artificial neural networks applications. The well-known activation functions are logistic sigmoid and tangent sigmoid and the linear functions. In this study, we use the tangent sigmoid function in hidden layer and the pure lin uh, function in output layer. Uh, determining the best architecture of artificial neural network is a very important problem in the applications. Uh, every performance measure assesses forecasting error for different aspects and Various uh, model selection criteria have been used uh, for the determining the best architecture of artificial neural networks. 
The well-known model selection criteria are AKK and Schwarz information criterias, root mean score errors, mean absolute percentage errors, relative errors, scaled errors, and such. Root mean score error uh, and mean absolute percentage error and uh, Nash switch life are uh, measures uh, of the deviations uh, of the predicted values from actual values. And mean re relative absolute error is a relative error uses deviation and benchmark model to measure relativity. Uh, the mean absolute scaled error is a scaled error and uh, is a good recommendation by authority uh, if data are dirty, which means uh, the data uh, contain outliers. Uh, the MD uh, uh, notations are uh, pointing out the median modifications of uh, the performance measures. And you can see the formulas of uh, each performance measures uh, used in this study. In this study, we attempt to model the municipal solid waste using the data of 74 cities of Turkey and then uh, the seven cities with the ratio waste of service less than 60% uh, are forecasted. And the data contains um, 34 variables, uh, could be summaries such as total solid waste, uh, population, total number of uh, people coming each city, gross domestic products uh, per person, the size of household, water waste uh, and such. A dependent variable is uh, average solid waste and kilogram per person per day uh, have been decided for better um, municipal solid waste management planning. The training set was used for artificial neural network model development. Uh, the test set was uh, used for model selection. Uh, data contains 74 value for each variable and it's divided into training and test sets as 85% uh, and 15% of partitions ratios, respectively. And the training process, Leeuwenberg Markov back propagation method uh, was uh, used as learning algorithm and tangent sigma and transfer fraction uh, used for activation function. The architecture of artificial neural network consists of uh, two hidden layers to handle complex data and the neural numbers varies from uh, 1 to 20 respectively, so it becomes 400 different structures. Due to having only one neuron for output layer, it doesn't affect the total number of uh, different structure numbers. The best model for each criterion is selected among uh, these 400 architecture. And in this chart, you can see the data for uh, 74 city uh, of Turkey uh, with the variables. And the chart continues with the, the other cities of Turkey. And in this chart, the last part of data can be seen. As it can be, is be seen from the results, artificial neural networks architectures can be differ according to each performance criteria uh, that have been implemented. The best performed criteria are uh, extended weight performance criteria and mean absolute error with their perfect test set performance of 100% match uh, forecast then, and, uh, and this architecture is uh, a 33 neuron is constant in input layer and 20 neuron for first hidden layer and 5 neuron for second hidden layer and 1 neuron is constant in output layer. And in this chart, uh, you can see the forecasted uh, values for seven cities can be seen left. Uh, the forecast accuracy is maximum for customer with only a uh, 3% deviation from actual value and the minimum uh, for cars uh, this, uh, with the 30% deviation from actual value. These are our references uh, that helped uh, us for the study. And we will all uh, thank you for listening to our presentation.